Hey guys, welcome back to more Dark Souls 2. And like I said, I came back and you notice that I am being a little bit more responsible. I have my Estus Flask and now it's my default healing device. I now have 60 soul arrows, of which I used some getting here. And I now have greater soul arrow right there behind the soul arrow, so that way I am uh, I'm pretty prepared now. I feel a lot more confident. Oh, so this is the lockstone that we need. In this weird face-like protrusion. Okay, interesting. I dropped down underneath where the ballista trap was. So here we are. Okay, so it's illuminating this wall. And shining on this chest. Huh. Is it supposed to look at this chest? Am I supposed to open this chest? Now? Oh, it's a trap! Ooh, that was close. I, I don't think I took too much damage from that, if anything. I rolled out of that, I think, just in time. What is here? Alright, so that's not too bad. So the trap chest, alright, I think it's our first one. And let's see. Yep, hidden wall, okay. It's kind of like Zelda, you know, if you're not sure, just slash it. Alright, hidden room. Ooh, nice. That'll be good for upgrading. And what do we have here? Oh, a ring. Chloranthy ring. Chloranthy ring. What does that do? What does that do? Raises stamina recovery speed. Nice! Look at me. Glowing now. I'm all magical. That's good, because I wasn't putting any points into uh, endurance, so this uh, stamina recovery speed will be really handy. Oh, there's a ladder. I have to jump down at all. Okay, good. I feel a lot more prepared now. I got some magic armor, or magic gear, got better spells, got, you know, responsible healing items. Alright. I gotta be getting close to, uh, to a boss then. Okay, so I'm not going through that portacles trap, because I think that guy, I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. So let's see, some areas that I haven't yet explored, so I'm not going down there yet. This guy's still. Let me see. All right, so he's still saying the same I'll thing. This one to you. I'm worried about. I don't quite trust him yet, so. though. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come back, but not yet. Let me see if there was anything else in this area. Oh yeah, that's right. There was that door that guy was standing in front of. I don't see him, so I guess. I guess he doesn't respawn. Weird. All right, let's see where he goes. Let's run through before fire bombers come through. All right. All right. Cool. New area. I don't see the fire bombers. All right. Oh, okay. Two guys. That's no problem. These guys seem pretty simple. See, it's coming to the point where I need three soul arrows to take down these guys. Okay, yeah. So the greater soul arrow seems to deal about 50% more damage than the regular soul arrow. Okay. Okay, so that's another orange door. I'm noticing a lot of these same colored doors here. Alright. It's always good. More life gems. Let's see. Anything among these ruins here? Alright. Missed door. Interesting. And these two are guarding it, so there might be something important there. Let's see what's down here. Alright, there's an item over there. Oh, there's probably a trap body. Yep. Can't fool me. Oh, he's fencing. So look at him thrusting. What is this? Oh, it's a giant sword. But it's also like a platform. There's a guy at top there. Let's we'll see who he's standing there for. Alright, more amber herbs. That's always good for me. Greater Soul Arrow only has uh, 15 usages, so... Amber herbs will be helpful in a pinch. Alright. I'm not going to duel you dramatically in the sunset on the tip of this giant colossus blade, so I'm just going to bait you down here and hit you with my magic. Sorry to be so anticlimactic. Oh, there's another guy. Wow, he would have trapped me if I was up there dueling him anyway. I think I did make the right call. Oh, I did a crit on him. Take that. Okay, now let's see what you're regarding. Nice. Okay, good. Oh, a halberd. Well, not really a physical... Uh, Guy, but that would have been really handy, I'm sure. I'll leave that for my next character. 
Okay, the only one place to go now, I guess, is this mist door. I don't think I saw any other exits, so... Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, I think this is the only way forward, really, at this point, so let's see what's, let's see what's behind it. I don't know why I'm rechecking this door. <laughs> I just checked it. It slipped my mind. Alright. Let's go through this time. This looks like another fire chamber. Oh, little blue beetle. What's up, little beetle? Scurrying away. Looks kind of crystalline, though. Weird. Oh, this is the other side of the um of the fire area where the yeah okay yeah I know what this is. This is the locked barred door, and that ladder over there goes back to the uh, to the bonfire. Okay, so we looped around. Cool. And that looks like a platform to descend down to the fiery area. Okay, good. So I think we're getting close. Let's check around here first. Sorry. Right. Oh, I guess that blue beetle disappeared. It looked pretty special. I wonder what it had. Right, let's see what's around here. Alright, body next to this barred door. Leather shield. I wonder... I probably can't equip that either. I should really put more, you know, stuff into strength. But I already have an order. I need to put... I want to put two, I want to put a few more into faith. I want to put a little bit more into. Yeah, I can't even wear that because this shield only needs a strength of seven. That one only needs seven. The blue one needs six. So I just need to get like even the smallest bearish shield up because man, I've I've just been trying to uh, survive on just dodging and rolling, which granted is a pretty good strategy because. It's a lot better just to not get hit rather than try to block a hit. Before I go down that ladder, let me go ahead and recharge. Okay, so that that's another area, okay. I don't think I saw a pathway the opposite way, so I think we have to go through that orange door. Okay, so the orange door seems to go through a lot of new areas, expanded areas of this uh, castle. Duly noted. Looks like we're going to go down before we can go up, though. Alright, so recharging. I want to I want to upgrade one more time, just see if I can uh, squeeze out one more extra bit of intelligence. Nice, so that Titanite slab that I have is going to add plus 10 to something. That'll be good. Bearer, seek, seek, lest this... Yep, I'm going to toss a point into faith. I see my strength is 3. I'd have to toss at least 3 more points into strength to get that up to shield level usage. So, hmm. Let me go ahead and crack open one of these souls. See if I can get two points out of it. I like to hold on to those souls. Because I've been collecting a few, and I just burn them when I'm ready to just upgrade for, uh, when I hit a spot that I feel I need to really upgrade for. I try to go as far as I can and keep uh, preserving it, because you never know if you're going to run into a, a merchant that is going to sell a key item that you need to use souls on a pinch for. Like the last time, where I, I needed to have 5,000 souls on a pinch in order to get both of those keys that merchant had. Alright, so I'm going to keep upgrading faith a little bit. I'm getting closer and closer to when I can afford that staff. That staff is kind of a priority to me. Because I do want to be able to heal and I do want to be able to use that better staff. Because I haven't seen anybody selling staves yet. Staves yet. 
watch, as soon as I upgrade and get it, there's going to be somebody selling a better stave. That'll be just my luck. Alright, so back to the Forest of Fallen Giants. Look at all these areas I've yet to unexplore. These worlds are so huge, that's what I really like about it. And they keep things simple. They really do. There's something to be said about that. And I think it... Uh, let's see... The whip. Yeah, I heard I heard rumor that um, if you pick the petrified something as your starting item, and then leave that in one of the crow's nests, like the one in the tutorial area, that it turns into a whip, like a special whip. I'm like, eh, that seems nice, but I'd, I'd still rather have a human effigy. Alright, so those guys, have, that guy didn't respawn. Nice. I think I outkilled them. Alright, so let's go take this, uh, take this down. Descending a long elevator, this has to be boss battle. Okay, so going deeper than that fire area. Interesting. Okay. Long hallway. Okay. Could be, uh. Definitely, it's definitely shaping up to be a boss fight. I think that alcove. Alright, cool. Up. Oh, one last guy. Hi, oh, you didn't block that, did you? Take that. Alright, I'm already feeling my better intelligence at work here. Oh, black door. Okay, so now we had orange doors and now we have black doors. So, I get the feeling that because that one's tucked so far out of the way, there's probably something useful for it. Alright, let me slot my Estus flask ready. That's a big door. I'm going to get my great soul arrow ready. I can't wear that big guy's helm. Let me make sure that there's no... I can't wear the bow either, unfortunately, which is a shame. See, I already have enough intelligence to use the uh, the staff in terms of staff-wise, but I need just a few more points in faith. Hmm, fire arrows, that seems pretty useful, but I can't use a bow, I'm not strong enough. And I don't necessarily want to invest in strength over intelligence when I could. But I, I can't deny that I do need, really need, need a shield. Up, cinematic, here we go, yep, boss time. That's a big guy. Must be that fallen giant they were talking about. How are you growling at me? Your face is just a hole. He's a big lanky guy, isn't he? I guess he's uh, an emaciated corpse of a giant. Alright. Boss time. Let's take it on. Yeah, underneath your legs, guy. Death from below. Alright, oof. Okay, makes sense he can step on me. No problem. I can just, uh, if I can hide beneath him, that'd be great. Because he... Okay, that's easy. I can, I can stay outside his range. Fortunately, this arena is big enough for me to either get from within his reach or beyond his reach. Yeah, I can do this all day. And he, pro he projects that foot raising so much. Oh, this is easy. He's easy for a first boss. Okay. Rip off his arm there. I'm surprised he doesn't pull the giant spike out of him. Oh, oh okay, I thought he was going to throw his arm at me. Oh, he's easy. Easy. Done. Done already. Not even a single hit. Perfect run. Nice. Okay, key. Okay, here we go. Yeah, key. I knew we had to get a key somewhere. And voila. First boss down. Allow me to take a bow. And uh, we'll catch you next time.
Thanks for watching.